This video is going to be on the derivation of the law of sines. The law of sines is a formula used to find the missing sides or angles of any triangle. The formula is the sine of big A is to little a, as the sine of big B is to little b, as the sine of big C is to little c. Every side in the triangle is going to use the same variable as the angle that is opposite it. So for example, at the lower left we've got capital A, across from it will be lowercase a. On the bottom right we have a capital B and the side opposite it will be lowercase b. And the third side is going to be c. To start the derivation I'm going to drop an altitude. Altitudes give us right angles so I'm going to mark the diagram accordingly. I'm going to call the triangle on the left triangle 1 and the triangle on the right triangle 2. Now, the altitude I might call A, but because we've already used lowercase a over here, I'm going to call it H for height. Now, focusing on Roman numeral 1, or the triangle on the left, I'm going to do something in a moment with triangle 2, so I'll just get that set up. Focusing our attention on triangle number one, I'm going to pick a reference angle in right triangle number one. I'm going to use A. Now, according to Sokotoa, the sine of A is going to be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Well, the side opposite angle A in this right triangle is H, and the hypotenuse is B. So the ratio for sine of A is H over B. I'm going to do the same sort of thing over here for right triangle number two, using B as my reference angle. The sine of big B is also opposite over hypotenuse. Now my opposite side is H, but my hypotenuse is A. So the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse will be H over little a. Now, in both of these equations that I have resulting, I'm going to cross multiply to solve for h. In the first, we get h equals little b sine a. In the second equation, we get h equals little a sine big b. Because these expressions are both equal to h, we can set them equal to each other. So up here, I'm going to say b sine a equals A sine B. And we might notice that it's starting to look like what we want it to look like, which is the formula in the green box. But I need to do one more thing, and that is to divide both sides by the same thing. And in this case, that's going to be little a, little b. When I do that, the b's cancel on the left, the a's cancel on the right, and I'm left with exactly what I want. Sine of big A is to little a equals sine of big B is to little b. And you'll notice that's exactly what we have written up here. A question that students always ask is, well, what about the part of the formula that has the c? And the answer to that is easy. If I had elected to drop an altitude from either A or B and repeated the process, we would have been able to incorporate the C.